it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. That season of giving is upon us again, and it's almost Christmas time, and we need some quick, fun, fast gifts. Well, I have something really fun to show you. Really um, uh, a great idea. This is a little plate that we picked up at Walmart. These clear glass plates like this. And we mod podge the fabric on the back of them to make a darling cookie plate. This is Kate Spain's Fa La La fabric. It's just adorable. They make such quick, fun gifts, and we're going to show you just how to do that. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is protect your area, because Mod Podge can be a little messy. So we've got a little piece of paper here. We've got the bottle of Mod Podge. You can get this at any of your local craft stores or hobby stores. Actually, you can get these clear plates at any of those, too. Uh, so check out for the check for the clear plates and the Mod Podge. And we've got one um, sponge brush that we're going to use. And I will show you how easily this is done. If you're going to do a few of these, you might want to pour this into a bowl or if it gets too low down. But I'm just going to reach into the, to the jar and do this. The other thing is, when you choose your fabric, if you choose a nice all-over pattern, you can see I have a, a couple here to show you. You know, it really doesn't matter where you place the fabric on there. But we're going to use on this plate, we're going to use this little uh, Nancy Halverson fabric that has a Santa in it. And we're going to want to kind of center him up in the middle there. And so we're just going to uh, lay him on there and see how that looks and see if that's, that's the way we like it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn our plate over, hold our hand underneath, and we're just going to start Mod Podging this. So we're just going to brush this on here like this. Just cover the whole thing with a good layer. Make sure you get the edges well. Not too far, not around the other side, but just on the top side here. We're going to just cover this whole thing. This is so cute. You know, you always need a plate of cookies for somebody, and when you can um, make it fit their personality like this, uh, I mean, you could do anything on this from, you know, I mean, there's cute argyle fabric. There's just all kinds of fabric. So let me, we're going to lay this on here, and we're going to center this over the middle of this plate. Then we're just going to begin to rub on it and really rub it and make sure that there's no um, bubbles or anything in it. We're going to rub it down and stick it to that glue really good. And then we're going to press it around the edge so that it just sticks on there. There we go. And you just want to make sure it's really smooth. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to take a look at it. Now you can see there are some little white places on here where the glue is. You just want to rub those in. So those just kind of melt away. Make sure that your edges, see we have a little, um, a little extra glue up on here. We just want to kind of wipe that off a little bit. Because we don't want it up on the front. We just want it around the edge. And then you're going to look and see if there's any place on here that it really is hanging off the edge. And, and if you're okay, here's a little bit here. So we're going to just take this brush and we're just going to tuck it in right here. Put a little bit of glue in there because you want the fabric to come clear out to the edge. And then we're just going to let it sit for a few minutes, a few, uh, probably about, I don't know, a minute or so, not very long. And let the glue kind of get set on there. There we go. And then we're going to take our scissors after it's set up pretty good. And we're just going to trim along this edge. And I like to kind of tilt my scissors just a hair so that we trim right at the bottom of the, um, that plate. Right underneath the lip of that edge we're just trying to trim. There we go. And you can see how this is going to look. Who wouldn't want to get cookies on this for Christmas time? Now you're just going to want to flip this over, make sure everything's nice and smooth. And then we're going to put one more coat of Mod Podge on there. Just really glue that baby down there. 
You want to make sure, if you use your good scissors on this, that you rinse them off after you're done. There we go. Okay. And then you're just going to lay them on your paper and let, let this dry for a few hours and it really will be ready before you know it. We've also done one here with birthday fabric. How fun would that be? You have to remember with these plates is that you cannot wash them in the, in the dishwasher. They're not washable, but you can wash off the top. The top is just the glass part. You can wash and clean that. You just don't want to immerse it or put it in. One more thing I wanted to show you is that it's really fun to showcase the line of fabric. You know, it's fun to have that cute plate on your shelf that has the fabric that you love. And so I wanted to show you how to do that. And right now, monograms are really big. So what I've done is I've traced the letter E on here for my little granddaughter, Ella. And see, it's got this iron on here. You always iron the bumpy side. You'll feel a bumpy side on the bottom. You iron that down. And you trace your letter backwards so that when you put it on, the fabric, when you iron it on, it'll come out right. So we're going to go ahead and uh, cut this out. These are so popular right now, and I love that you can have, you know, if you love whatever, whatever designer you love, you could have a plate with their fabric on it, put it up on your shelf, your mantle, it would be so cute. We're going to head over to the ironing board and we're going to press this on. Okay, so here we are at the ironing board and we are um, peeling this off and you can see this side of the letter has the, the iron-on stuff on it. This side is good. So we place that down and we're going to place it kind of in the middle of our fabric because remember we want it to be in the middle of our plate. And this is that darling new Bunny Hill Lillian Will uh, fabric and we just are going to press that down and it'll just stick on there. Everything's done right, you know, with the right side, and we're going to set this E right in the center of the plate. So let's go put that on our plate. So we have our E here. It's going to fit right in the middle of our plate right here, and we're going to go ahead and we are going to mod podge this plate. You'll have something beautiful to put on your mantle. Your oh, I don't know. I just think this some of the fabric is so gorgeous that you. You just kind of want to highlight it sometimes, and this is a great way to do that. If you know somebody who's a fan of, of uh, a certain fabric line, you know, they'd love this as a gift. And because it's a showpiece, you know, you don't have to worry about it too much. All right, we've got all of our glue on there. It's nice and smooth. And then we're going to put this E in the center here. We're going to turn it over and look at it. Oh, see, there it is, right in the middle. And then we're just going to smooth this out. Press it toward the edges. There we go. Just make that really smooth. If you get a little rumple in it, you just push it down. It just smooths out so nice and easily. We're going to flip this up, check our edges, make sure that we are tied up on our edges. Then we're going to just trim this off. <laughs> Look how fun this is! This is so cute! There we go. We're going to mosh posh over the back of it, let it dry, and it will be done. But how fun would this be to get cookies on a plate that was designed for you? Say you had a math teacher or something like that. You could do one with numbers 
We also found these adorable square plates like this, and they are, they, it's just the same thing. It's so cinchy and it's so fast. We'll just do another one real quick to show you how that works. So we're coming around this edge. We're covering it with this Mod Podge. I mean, you're going to get, you're just going to get excited about these. I mean, even the, the mailman's going to get some cookies, the Scoutmaster, everybody's going to get some cookies because you can get all the fabrics to go with whatever they do. And it'll just be really fun for you. All right, here we have this beautiful, and you remember now, you put your fabric on with the print side down so that it just goes right on there, and we just press it, press it. Won't this black be pretty? Food looks so pretty on black black plates. It just really sets it off. I'm going to touch it all around the edges, smooth it. And there we go. Flip it over. I still have some glue spots, so I'm going to want to rub those out a little better. With the square ones, you just have to watch right around the edges here where it curves. You just want to make sure that that's really down there nice and tight. And again, we're going to take this and we're just going to trim it off. And you can do this with scraps of fabric. You know, you have, we all have loads of little pieces left over. Just make sure you find one to fit your plates. If you don't want to make that many cookies, you can get a smaller plate. It's whatever you'd like to do. But this is a great quick Christmas gift. You know, teachers, oh gosh, everybody would love to get a little plate like this. And, and you don't even need to put cookies on them because the plates are so beautiful. All right, here we go with this one. Put our scraps over there. We're going to flip it over, put one more coat on. Let this, we're going to put another coat on here, get all the way out to the edges. If you find you have any little sharp edges on it when you finish up, you can just trim those off. You can also wash these little sponge brushes out. They'll wash out pretty quick if you want to use them again. Otherwise, they're a good throwaway. And there you go. We got two Christmas gifts. Let me like, get you a look at this one. Two Christmas gifts quick in one tutorial. We hope you have a wonderful holiday and can make some of these gifts for those people that you love. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.